Hello and welcome to my review of Content Samurai. You might be surprised to see that I actually bought the program and I'm not doing a BS review like many of the other marketers, but this is what I do. I actually reviewed this software two years ago when it just came out, but they've done a ton of updates since I reviewed it first and I wanted to see what they improved and just wanted to update my review so it's more current. So today I'm just going to go through the whole program, show you what it does, how it works, and just create a video pretty much in front of your eyes in the next five to ten minutes. So I just watch if I were you just because it's it's really cool how it works um, and it's really simple really easy so this is the screen that you see just when you purchase it how to get started they added a help center which is great they explain things in more detail now because there was documentation before but not nearly as much so people it was easier to get lost and get a little bit confused about the finer details of the program even though it is generally simple and they also added a community Facebook group which can be useful if you're looking for support or just answers to your questions, things like that. But the thing we're going to do is we're going to go to my videos and create a new video. And this is it. Everything is done in browser. Uh, so Chrome, I think they recommend Chrome, but I believe it works in multiple browsers, definitely Chrome and I believe Edge. Um, but I recommend Chrome just because it's better. And this is all there is script, slides, voice, preview, download. And I'm going to go through each of these and show you what it does. So video name, just do test video. I have some uh, text already prepared for this. And this is all you do. You can either type out a uh, some text here or you can copy and paste something from your blog or you can write something for your client and then, you know, create a video and sell it to them. Then this right here is new. It basically it's it uh, changes how it splits up your slides and sentences. I recommend using automatically create slides because one slide per sentence can get big if your sentences get long like these. One slide per paragraph is way too big. It's, um, I don't know if you've heard of the PowerPoint, I think it's rule of threes, three bullet points of three words. If you do one slide per paragraph, that's going to be way too much, especially if your style of writing is not like mine where you have one sentence per paragraph. But if you do pretty much a regular style of writing like that, that's going to be a little too much. So let's, I'm just going to use all of these to so automatically create slides, create slides for my video. This is the slide. So this is what it looks like if I automatically do it. Then if I press edit the script, it warns me, but I'm going to ignore it and then do one slide per sentence. This is what it looks like. And you can see this is a, this is a little bit stuffy. And if I do one slide per paragraph, it's not going to change anything. So let me just make this into one big annoying paragraph. And let's see what that looks like. It's not going to be pretty. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Like you should never have this on your slide. That's too much. And it's just a wall of text. People will uh, blank it out. So let's just go here to automatically create slides and create slides. Now for the slides, they've added a ton of themes since I was here. Um, previously, they had only from Ocean Spray up to up to Sapphire Stone. But now they added Christmas, inspiration, makeup, and pretty much niche related themes. So there's inspiration, makeup, digital marketing, wedding, cafe, real estate, a bunch of other ones. Um, if you want to see, there's a post on my website that shows all of them. Uh, and you can also create your own themes. So if you don't like any of the themes that they created for you, I'm just going to do red back. I like the way. Actually, I'm just going to do digital marketing. Um, and if you don't like any of these themes, you can go to my themes and you can see I created my pinky theme, which looks like this. You can just create a new theme, give it a name, test, change the background color or upload an image. I'm not going to upload anything right now. Um, and obviously this isn't very pretty right now, but you can do something like maybe do the background color black, make the font style something like, I don't know, crafty girls, make it sort of, um, excuse me, that's a highlight color make it a little bit like this and make the highlight color orange, something like that. Um, and then just save theme. And then this is if you want to keep the same branding throughout all of your videos and make them all the same. Uh, I'm just going to do digital marketing just because I like the way it looks. And once you do pick your theme, you can do multiple things. You can change the layout of each of these. So you can change the layout of this slide. Uh, so let's do, I want to do text on the left and then I want to add an image and then search for an image and look for goals. Let's see what it gives me. Goals, goal setting. I don't like any of these. So let's look at 
Well, actually, accomplish. It gives me suggestions, which is great. Accomplish, something like this. That works. Since I never accomplish my goals anyway, and there will be this picture right here. And you can either find images and sort the image usage options, public domain, attribution, share alike, or non-commercial. And if you use some of these videos, you will have to paste that information in your video description, but that's not a big issue. And you can also upload images yourself. So I actually created a promotion video for Ray Edwards, cop how to sell copy that sells, which is why I have this right here. But if I were to use, let's say this one, or maybe this one, that's, let's just do this picture. I could do that. And then I can change the thing for the next slide. I could change the layout to maybe put the text in the bottom and put lazy here and just put a picture of a cat right here because cats, obviously. Um, and you can change the layout, multiple choices. You can just play around with that if you want. Text to the top, this actually looks better. Um, and then you can edit straight on your slides and bold things. If you're doing a sales letter, this is very important. You know, you can bold things by pressing Control B or pressing these. Um, so, you know, never accomplish my goals. Just bold random things and make it seem cool. You can hide text, you can remove formatting, adjust the background image. So you can move it around a little bit if you want, or you can zoom in or out. I just keep it like this. Um, and then you can start a slide break. Also, one thing that they added is you can add your own slides. So you can just add slides and do whatever you want here and delete them. And you can add custom video. So if you have a video intro that you use for all of your videos, you can just add a video clip right here and you can, um, you know, just upload your own intro right here to brand yourself. And you can insert that between any slides if you want. So if you want an outro, you can do that. Um, and then you can just go through all of your slides, just scroll through and, you know, maybe bold, don't bold random words, bold the words that, you know, ha are the most important, but I'm just gonna, um, just bold random words and just select random words. That's good enough. That I showed you what it does. So the next section is voice, and this is where you can actually record it. And they added a new option. You can either do no voice track, upload a voice track, which they didn't have before, or record your own. And the record your own voice track option is beautiful, but the issue is if you do if you do not have a great mic, or if you have to record in an area where your microphone might pick up some background noises. For example, for me, my microphone always picks up a tiny bit of background noise. So I always try to clear it up a little bit with Camtasia before posting it. Um, and if I do that here, I can't do that. So it might be a better idea to upload a voice, um, just record a voice track using Audacity or just you know Windows Recorder and then edit it in Audacity. Well, if you're editing in Audacity, you might as well use Audacity, but just record it on an Audacity, edit it, to get rid of the noise and then upload it here. And you can just go on the script and just read from here. Um, it gets a little bit annoying when you do have a lot of text though, which is why their option is great because you can just press record or you can use a, um, excuse me, you can use a the arrow keys to move around and see if, um, and if you, for example, if your mouse is loud like mine, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but if you don't want that clicking noise and you're recording, you can use the arrow keys and spacebar to record. Um, so just press record. Since I never accomplished my goals anyway, I decided not to set anything for March. Just press the arrow key, press the arrow key again, press not spacebar. Um, what is it actually? Uh, and it's recording. <laughs> okay, so that's not how you do it. Let me see. Uh. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it is. Yeah, that's my fault. It is the arrow keys. So let me just record uh, it real quick. So just record it over again. Since I never accomplished my goals anyway, I decided not to set anything for March. Press the right arrow key, press the right arrow key again, press the right arrow key again. Instead, I'd rather just talk about what I'll be doing without setting any hard goals for myself. Press the arrow key. And then just press record again. It's very simple. Anyway. And if you're wondering how um, Content Samurai, WHQ completely tanked for 85% of keywords, so I need a way to bring it back. That's good enough. And if you're wondering how it actually splits it into the recording, it uses 
uh, periods, exclamation points, and question marks, um, and also line breaks, and um, there was one more, um, the multiple dot symbol, the ellipses, I believe it's called, to separate these. So um, it's not necessarily your, just length of your sentence, well, actually, although it is a sentence usually, but if you use dot, 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 and then you continue a sentence, you will have to record, you know, maybe if I have a dot, dot, dot right here, it will be this much record and then I have to record this part down here. Um, as you can see, recording is pretty simple. And then you just move on to the preview. And some sentences do not have uh, audio recorded yet. My bad. You can um, choose no voice track or go to first and record a sentence. So I'm just going to pause for a little bit and record all the sentences and I will be back in one second. So I have just recorded all of the videos and I can press preview or all of the audio, excuse me. And I can press preview and it will create the slide timing for you. And it will do this thing even if you upload um, your own audio. If you don't do it using their voice thing, it will still do that for you. And now you have some options. Um, you can select the music. So they have you know, Christmas Wonderland. They have a bunch of other um, music that you might actually not be able to hear because I might only be recording audio from my microphone. But I will try to um i have a blog post on my website you can actually look at to see where the music comes from and what it is you can also upload your own music and then you know you can upload music and then you can change the track volume so if you choose this song for example you can change the music volume and the tra voice track volume so then um usually content samurai is pretty good at figuring out where the beginning and the end of your slides should be since I never accomplished my goals anyway, I decided not to set anything for March. Instead, I'd rather just... So you can't really hear because I <laughs> I accidentally forgot to turn on the sound for the um, my desktop. But it's currently the slides are very, very uh, good. Um, timing is very, very good. But if you don't like the timing, you can manually adjust it. And then you can um, just go back here. And then I believe you can press spacebar every time you want to switch slides. Since I never accomplished so my goals anyway, spacebar. I decided I'm just to press next slide. slide. So next Instead, slide. Instead, I'd rather just talk about what I'll be doing next without slide. setting any hard And you can just do it yourself if you want. And you can move. Um, this is where you could move the slides around previously. Um, okay, that's a little. Oh, there you go. It's just a little bit off. You can move it around. It's just, you just have to focus a little bit on it. And then once you're good, you can um, stop recording and say, look, it looks good, continue. And then you can just generate your video. And this process usually takes a while. And this is that you need to add to your description in your video if you want to actually use it legally, which you should. And then just generate your video. And this will take a while. It's actually surprising how long it takes. Um, but it's all done in the cloud. It, you know, all your videos are stored in the cloud. So if you, well, all your slides and stuff are stored in the cloud. So if you have to, um, if you don't want to create a video on your laptop, you can just do it straight on your client's laptop and they will have the video done in probably between a minute to three minutes, depending on how big or how long your video is, maybe five to 10, which is not very long, honestly, because of one, the quality of the videos and how quickly you can make these. Um, so if you have a lot of experience, you can create these videos, you know, you can create one, two, three videos an hour, probably one to two, maybe three. If you're highly experienced, you already know what you're saying and you have all the text and everything. Um, but if you imagine if you can get, I don't know, 10 clients who are paying you a hundred dollars a month each to create promotional videos, that's a thousand dollars a month for probably about you know, maybe five to 10 hours of your time, let's say 10, let's say you have to write the script from scratch. So let's say 10 hours of your time and you have to pay $49 for content samurai. So that's about, um, let me see. You get, you will get about $95 an hour doing that between 180 and $95 an hour, which is great. So you can see it's still doing that. Once it generates, uh, this button will switch to download. You can download it and then you will be done. So if you would like to try Content Samurai, there is a link to a free trial in the description. And if you would like to read a text review, there is a link 
to a text review and actually a 53% discount for life for Constant Samurai. And that does not work if you do a free trial, sadly. Um, but if you want, you can do a free trial. And then if you like the program, use my link for the discount. And the link for the discount is actually in the text post on my blog because I did not want to put it on YouTube. Um, so if you visit my blog, you can do that. And here is the download your video button. You can just press download and you know pick where you want it to go. Um, so other than that, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any questions about Content Samurai or anything else, please let me know. Thank you.